Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Games Cast, episode 321. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass. Join Blah. Wow. Keep going, Jim. Joined no by cuts, Corey Feinstein. Yep. Mike Zanetti. What happened? I it, <laughs> Yes. And Tony Korkanakis. It's Marvel, baby. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, sorry about that, listeners and viewers. I had a um a tongue twist. <laughs> so uh yeah. Anyways, welcome listeners and viewers to episode 321. Uh, we have a shit ton. I'm just going to call a shit ton of news to get to here. So let's just get into it, guys. We're going to start with the Game Awards. We're going to move into PSX. Uh, I don't even know if we had any time after that. We'll see what we got. But <laughs> Game Awards occurred, guys, first last week. Uh, we talked about it. We thought maybe doing a spoiler cast, but we or bonus round, I mean. Uh, but we'll just talk about it on here with... Um, all in one place. You get everything in one place. PSX and, and the Game Awards. So, mm -hmm. I thought we'd do the winners first. And then we'll talk about what was, like, you know, launched. Like, uh, yeah. premieres. Premieres. Okay. So, um, I mean, there's a lot of subcategories. They actually were giving out awards before the awards show. Did anybody else find that weird? Every award show does this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they even have, like, the Academy has their own award show for yeah. things that were too boring to watch on TV. So they which, did a, yeah. a lot of the stuff is still too boring to watch on TV, but... Yeah, so we had Trending Gamer as Boogie. Okay. Esports. Are we going through all these? Because I'd rather not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's do the best uh, esports game was Overwatch. Mm -hmm. Most anticipated <laughs> game was Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Makes sense. Best multiplayer game, Overwatch. Best sports game was Forza. So we can go through these real quick. Best family right. game, Pokemon Go. Goddamn Go. I'm not sure how that involves your family, but okay. Best fighting <laughs> game, I feel like there's just not much in this category, Street Fighter V. There wasn't anything else this year. That's what I don't think. think. Wasn't it, Mortal Kombat? Or no? Not that this was last year. year. See, like, no. how do you give that, that game? Like, it should just be not a category, right? I mean, Street Fighter V was a letdown for a lot of people. Well, Dragon Ball, whatever, came out. and mm -hmm. uh, I think it was, sure there was a Naruto as well. I'm sure there was a Naruto, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but... So that one, uh, The Witcher won Best RPG, and it won last year. It won the DLC. Oh, yeah, one. <laughs> which is pretty silly to me, but I think okay. that's really ridiculous. By the way, that that won Best RPG, a DLC. Over oh, what? Though. I mean, I'm not sure how these are voted, but it does just is sound that, like well, popularity that contests. Alone? If it's standalone, then I have no problem with it. But if it's required to have Witcher Three, then that's a problem. It is standalone. Okay, well then and that's it's only fun. like a couple hours. Well, if it's still the best couple hours you can play. I think it's pretty suspect when you have stuff like, oh, I don't know. I guess it depends on what you count as an RPG. Yeah. Well, I think like XCOM 2 was out, you know, or maybe that was out the year before. No, I don't know. Not sure. yeah, but I mean, again, uh, I feel like a lot of these are vote. There is sort of an academy for some of these, but not all of them are part of the votes. I don't know how it works, but yeah. it just it sounds like a lot of it is a popularity games. contest. <laughs> I mean, best action adventure game was Dishonored 2, which was shocking. Okay. That was actually mm -hmm. shocking that one. It was up against Uncharted, and it beat Uncharted. Uncharted uh, took a while for that to win something, actually. Um, best action game went to Doom. Now, Doom won a lot. They won best music mm -hmm. and sound as well. Yeah. Uh, it makes me want to play this game. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I, I got it. I, I'm, I wish I had picked it. it up when you did for like 20 bucks, right? Less than yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah, it was so. 17 something. Yeah, I'm hoping it goes back on sale again soon, because I'd get that. Um, independent game was Inside. I don't think did anybody play that here? No, no, didn't care to. Didn't play Limbo either. So you played and hated Limbo, so you don't need to play this game. <laughs> um, here we go. So best best performance, which was like the voice actors, was Nolan yeah. North as Nathan Drake. Uh, I liked his speech, by the way. I liked his speech as well. That's, yeah, it was on YouTube, and I saw it. Like, People were upset there. about it. The voice actors were upset about it. Well, yeah, of course they are. <laughs> he's one of the biggest names in voice acting, and he's just like scabbing out for their pro their protest, pretty much. He's yeah, just he, like, fuck you guys. the truth, man. Like, seriously? It's easy for him to say when he's like the probably one of the highest paid yeah, voice actors. Yeah, I understand. Thing, like, that, but and he's like in every game, so yeah, good for him, I guess. He's like, oh, shut up, guys. Don't don't try to get some money or rights because I'm on top. All right, Nolan North. Ah, I'm on his side on this. Like, it, when it comes to game development, you 
The voice acting is the least See, now, important. Like, you know, what was part funny of it. about this for me was I didn't. When was the last time Zelda had voice acting? <laughs> the problem is, like, lots of these people come from the normal acting world, and if you want high quality actors, they have to sort of compete in the same level, and this that won't happen if they don't get paid similarly. Yeah, I understand that, but like, I even missed the reference from him here. I forgot he. I didn't. I forgot the voice acting strike was going on, and yeah, like, I just thought this was a nice heartfelt thank you to the team that worked on Uncharted with him. I mean, it was that too, but. <laughs> It was, um, you know, it was a little bit of his comments oh, about man, the strike. I want that theme. <laughs> Tony, you seeing uh, this? What theme? Corey's screen. Look at that. Yeah. Did you get it? No. It's free on the EU, but I don't. I don't know if I care about. Uh, I, I like the artwork from it. Yeah, sure. I, I don't. I don't really like themes on the PS4. I think most my, of them are just garbage. It's better than my twentieth anniversary. But anyways, back to Nolan North. So we were uh, commenting on your theme. And before. I'm back. Mm-hmm. We were commenting on your theme. Oh, you can see it? <laughs> yes. I want, I want it. So I'm going to go get it after this. You have to have an EU account. It's only available for 24 hours. Got to make one. Mm-hmm. It's, pretty, it's pretty easy. Yes. I'm but yeah, one. so, I mean, I could see how other voice actors would be upset. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he's wrong because there are lots of underpaid people who work probably way harder than voice actors but if you if you're anyone who's not on that stage as a voice actor you're going to be upset if you're a voice actor if you're not troy baker or nolan north that's going to piss you off jennifer hale's in a bunch of stuff and she's like headlining this strike so yeah Yeah, she wasn't there was she (laughs) i just think it's shitty to use the platform of an award ceremony to fucking get all political yeah i mean i didn't realize he was doing that to be honest with you um i i understand that i mean but i i like what he said i mean like there's a team of people it's a team so but right so then be a team if part of your team isn't happy don't be like shut up guys there are more important people than you yeah than me even though i'm the highest paid voice actor in the world Hmm. i think award shows are kind of silly so if he wants to voice his opinion on that i go for it no fuck nolan north (laughs) fuck him (laughs) Right. He is he is being squeezed out by the, uh, Troy Baker right now. I'm taking good. A we'll fuck him. <laughs> I hope he loses every job ever. <laughs> no, he's so overdone. Like I'm tired of hearing his fucking voice. I, that's a different oh, conversation. Right. That's yeah. That's that's completely different. But <laughs> whenever I hear him, it's like that's that's not that character. That's Nolan North. Fuck you, buddy. I mean, there's okay. like a few people like you that. know that's his that's his range apparently as the highest paid voice actor in the industry, just talking as himself. It was, it was very cool to see all the Uncharted <laughs> voice actors on the stage though with him. Oh, not was all, it? Not all, but the the two other ones with the uh, um. Oh, the two other ones. Yeah, yeah, you were the one excited about how the one girl looked. <laughs> what? Tony. <laughs> I, I said she was attractive. I think yeah. yeah, I think so. And like her, like I don't know why she wouldn't be acting as as. Um, Jesus, why is her name blanking my... Emily Rose? I yeah, but what's, yeah. Her, what's her character from Uncharted? Elena. Elena. I don't know why they wouldn't cast her as Elena anyways, because the game makes her look like her anyways. I guess so. But anyways, so... Best narrative went to Uncharted 4. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, yep. I haven't yeah. played the game, but that sounds kind of funny. Yeah. I, I like. I mean, I like the story quite a bit. Um, I even considered. Oh, great. I even considered getting it on the buy two get one, because I. It's would, not eligible. It is. I'll say it's it special about edition. Un- <laughs> about Uncharted is the actual story isn't like particularly good. It's just the the characters are alive ish. I guess that's the good part of it. But the actual story is just like kind of, you know. It's the interactions, Mike. It's it's yeah. the characters that we want to see, and. And it's you more the do, characters you can do it. than the story. You can do it, Tony. It's the special edition works. Just not the oh, regular, not the regular version. Yeah. The f- nah, whatever. So many weird stipulations. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Um, best game direction went to Blizzard, which was funny because the guy I like when Jeff went up there to introduce himself. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm on the Blizzard. Watch. <laughs> the <Overwatch laughs> yeah. He just did it exactly like as the developer yep, yep. Uh, updates. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then best game. Game and he's year. like, keep him out for a right. That was awesome. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> and game of the year, man. Overwatch again. Yeah. I mean, are we, anybody disagreeing with this, with, the, with what it was up against? I mean. 
what was it up against? I mean, Uncharted Four. Um, Inside, I think, was on there. Inside was in there. Doom. Um, Doom. Doom. There was one more too. I think Timefall Two. No. Oh yeah. Time... Was it Timefall Two think... in there? Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's great that it was nominated. I just knew it wasn't going to win. I think so. Uncharted is the only one you could argue with. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was. I really thought Uncharted was going to take it, so I was. I was shocked to see Overwatch win that, which is. I mean, it's probably my game of the year. Um, so I'm, I guess I'm not that shocked. Like I but. said in Slack, it's hard to argue it, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna try, but we'll see. I'm trying to play as much as I. <laughs> That's can. That's I'm going through these games yeah. right now. I'm, I'm like, trying to play uh... as much as I can to get to this. So. Oh, was Doom in that I... game of the year? Or no. Doom was up for runnings for it. It, it was. Yeah. 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 So yeah, definitely got to check that out. So there's a there's a bunch of games that seem worthy, but uh, as far idea. as what Overwatch has done since release, I mean, it's growing in um, yeah. uh, active players, not decreasing, and it's gaining more content every mm-hmm. month or so. And like they're they're constantly doing stuff with it, so it's hard to argue that it's not worth it because there's a free lot content. of people that will free content. Yeah. A lot of people will because they go, oh, it's an online only multiplayer shooter. How can you give that game of the year? But yeah. I think it's definitely content wise worth worth it and uh, deserving. Maybe not mine specifically, but we don't know yet. We'll see. All right. I don't know. We'll I think see. it says a lot that it's uh, a multiplayer only game because I think this is the first time that's ever happened. Yeah, Probably. I'm and we'll be, I mean, as far as. How many shows go? What's it up against, you know, though, Tony? I mean, really? Like I said, Uncharted is the only thing. That yeah. Can... No, I mean, well, like I, said, I mean, I've been saying 2016 has been a shitty year for video games. Well, I got said pushed. it. I said it would be last year. Everything and you guys got like, no. pushed. <laughs> it's the freaking generation of delays, man. Who knows what 2017 is going to bring? Who the fuck knows? Bro, I mean, Every, well, everything's like, supposed to come out in the first no, quarter. It who won't. the fuck knows? <laughs> Well, I mean, two big uh, Sony games came out in December, which were ineligible. I mean, Final Fantasy XV and The Last Guardian. I mean, if those came out a month earlier, those definitely would have been up for consideration. For the, and for I the, think it's unfortunate because the they're record, coming out. Final Fantasy is multi-platform. You said Sony releases. <laughs> How many copies do you think Final Fantasy XV on <laughs> Xbox is going to sell worldwide? It's multi-platform. It's just, multi-platform. Just, just, just give me a, a, a guesstimate. Ten. Probably about half of what PS4. half yeah i'd no. say about half <laughs> no i'll take a bet on that maybe 15 <laughs> percent. i was gonna say 25 percent at best at best japan is zero dude zero <laughs> yeah that's true they're not even well, they don't have games. xbox ones over there that's yeah, why they do they're just on the show oh, no they're exactly that's what i'm saying people don't own them <laughs> if you own them you're not asian first of all <laughs> yeah <laughs> But with you <laughs> anyway like i just i'm just saying both of those games would easily be up for game of the year contention if they had come out for this criteria a month earlier I'm i definitely surprised think surprised most... by the last guardian and we can talk about that later but i'm really surprised by we'll get into that so yeah. uh premieres on this um let's go over what they did first of all uh i would like to say uh it was amazing what jeff keely did um a nice big, yeah a nice thing to a uh, big fuck you to konami uh and i would like to second those sentiments or third or whatever i mean tony said it plenty of times uh so i'm very happy with what he did there and honoring kojima finally the way he should have been honored last year because and then we also learned well, we also learned more information <laughs> about the fact of why his game tanked that last bit he wasn't even working with his team at the end of that game yeah, he had to, he was locked in a room and he had to work with his team through like a middle party. Like what he had did to tell he some a runner do that? back and forth. <laughs> what uh, the only thing I can imagine is that he wanted more control or more money, you know, out of the boundaries boundaries of his contract, or his contract was so um, like so unprofitable for Konami that they kind of like like made his working Forced life conditions out. hell. To make him quit, basically. That, that's just a guess. But, I mean... We really... I don't think we'll ever really know what happened, but... As we will far eventually, as, I'm sure. Yeah. Like, I think there's a certain time that he probably can't talk about it. Like, most but companies... you're still think. only getting one side of the story, though. Sure, but, I mean... I'm gonna go with the side... For two but years, let me go with and, the side with, like, the side that's actually still in the video games. Because Konami's yeah, out. exactly. Yep, fuck Konami. No, fuck no. Konami. no they, they got Metal Gear Zombies coming out. Fuck Konami. <laughs> Fuck Nami. God. I do think it's a little dangerous to just 
celebrate someone so much like that a little bit. Yeah, like, I, 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 thought little I thought he was going to propose. I thought he was going to propose. I, I was he tearing up. During yeah, that? he was. He yeah. was. Which I one will say <laughs> they were both were. I will say though, it was a little like. So I don't know if I think about it on a scale of like it one. It was to a 10, little gross. Like it got to like eight, and I think eight's the comfort zone where you're like, okay, this dude like really admires and appreciates this person as another human being, and then nine, you're like, okay, this is kind of like past admiration. This yeah. is like uh, I don't know worship bro- almost. Well, it was a bromance, and then he at got that to point. ten where it's it like to, then it went past the bromance. Yeah, I was like, oh. Dude, this is like really uncomfortable now. Like, you just need to move on. Like, yeah. you know, let's wrap it up. But whatever, it was still done. You know, gave him an award, achievement, achievement, lifetime achievement, or whatever it was. And you know, so that was I like that that kickoff. Uh, and then we got some trailers. So we got a Zelda gameplay trailer. Uh, two of them. Two trailers. Two trailers yeah. for that, uh, which um, has well has its frame rate issues. I can see. Right. Still the cinematic excited. trailer was fine. Yes. The first one. It was yeah. just a teaser. And they, they kind of teased either the female... Um, yes. Did you get that? They either te- teased Zelda or the female, female Link. Link. Yeah. I think so it's, it's a female Link. Linkle? Yeah. Huh? Linkle? Linkle. Isn't that with her name? Well, that's a character. <laughs> I think that's going to be a female Link. Yeah. We'll see. So, but uh, the cinematic trailer is fine. Yeah. But I definitely... When they, when they showed the second one where it was gameplay, on the Wii U, it did look really rough. I was like, ooh, yeah. like... That's why I got delayed. <laughs> that's why I just like that's the first thing that came to my head. I'm like, oh, there's the delay right there. I can see it. Yeah. Um. So I'm still psyched for the game, but um. And there's plenty to hold me over, anyways, until summer. So. Yeah. Uh. So we got good gameplay of that. We got uh, Gearbox announcing they're now publishing publishing games. So wait, 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 wait. When did this happen? First of all, because back in 2013. At a Gearbox panel, they talked about publishing games. Yes, so this happened with Jeff Keighley interviewing your boy. Um, and Randy Pitchford. Randy Pitchford, who didn't do any magic this time. I thought he was going to do some magic, because he always does magic. Now, this time, all he did was, we're going to mirac- ma- miraculously bring back Bulletstorm from Good another game. company. Uh, and make it in 4K. So they're going to okay. be making the game in 4K, so remastered. That's... But they're publishing it for the for the company. Okay. So it's a it's a it's a the guy flew in all the way with him to introduce the game. I like the game. I mean, the game I, looks fine. It's not that. It's not. There was that. one part it's, that was fucking my, annoying. It wasn't fair, but whatever. But my still, issue yeah. with my issue with this Corey is their history of games that are you know not theirs. If Randy Pitchard really wanted to do magic, he would bring Battleborn back to life. All I'm saying is let's let's take a look at Duke Nukem. Uh, let's take a look at Aliens. Right. Let's take a look at. You know, this, he's this a is, con man. Yeah. I'm sorry. He's a con man. So that's my issue with this. So okay. And well, I is, still don't understand how they're announcing they're publishing the game. Like that's just, that's not news, and that's not. Well, they're going to be announcing more. He said. Okay, but I mean, they they still published games before. Okay, I'm not saying this. I'm not just true. saying that. he like, announced it himself, games, but he actually so said he I actually announced this. himself. I didn't know. Like, oh, I'm saying I, it wasn't on the game awards. Oh, okay. So it was if it was during the pre-show. Then I missed. I, I'm saying I didn't see the thing. Yeah. That's why I was like, I wrote in the little our notes like this is not news because it's, it's been happening. The boy well, he going, acted like it was news. So that, yeah, that, that's, that's what I got from it. If he acted like it's news and he's the one of the the presidents or CEOs or whatever, like yep, I don't know. He tweet him that he's wrong. Uh, he responds or he'll block you. <laughs> we got um. We got. We got a um, spoiler from Telltale that they're making another franchise. Yet if he again. blocks you, we know he was lying. <laughs> he won't block Corey. Corey's uh, like his former fan. He's he a... doesn't know that. He won't look into that. Yeah. You you have to tweet him your gear, uh, your Borderlands collection first. He already tweeted it once. I've already tweeted like, yeah. that. No, but but he doesn't. I do. Do you really think he remembers you? No. no offense. Do you really think he remembers you? So you got to be like, tweet one. Hey, dude, remember me? This is my uh, Borderlands collection. And By the way, two. you're fucking wrong. <laughs> By the way, you're fucking wrong about your own company, asshole. You've been publishing games for years. And see what he says. This is, their, this is super their, excited to publish Homeworld. That's this is their this is their <laughs> rebooted version of publishing games. They're rebooting yeah. themselves publishing. <laughs> this is their first console, maybe console <laughs> published game. Uh. Um. All right, so we got your box remastered edition. We got a Telltale t- teaser for Guardians of the Galaxy game, which that wasn't even a fucking teaser. No. Like that was barely anything. It's like it here's the title, logo. Yeah. Here's the title and the music. 
title logo. It's just confirmed. They basically got on stage said, "Yeah, we're making a Guardians game." Yep. Okay. Yep. But we knew. I mean, that. It, it does it does show that this unlike that's all that unlike some of the other properties they've taken over, this is based. It does look like almost exclusively on the movie and not the comics. We'll use the movie logo. Yeah, that's why. I don't know. I, there's of, nothing there for it, but thanks. we did also get um, Kojima did um, release another trailer for his Death Stranding game, which we talked about last. So weird. E3. We love so talk about E3. Fucking weird. I feel like I'm more confused now than I was before, and I was fucking confused before. This is this is kind of what I'm worried about with Kojima, and it's the Joss Whedon effect when he went off to do the comics after his shows got canceled, and he came up with some crazy nonsense for his characters. This is untethered. Uh, which is kind of a funny term for this. Um, <laughs> this is untethered Kojima where he's going to be free to do whatever he wants now. And he may just be insane. <laughs> Wait, I mean, the he thing could is, be a fucking the thing genius is, too. We don't know. We just don't know enough about this. The thing There's, is, he's always been weird. Like every single Metal Gear Solid game has been, has had weird aspects. It's just, there is a, a strong like foundation to reality. So you could be like, okay, well, you know, 80% of this is grounded in reality. It's just that 20% is kind of weird. This is just like the balance is off. It's like nothing we have seen is like, like I don't know, what I perceive as reality. Yeah. Other than, I don't know. I mean, we got, we did get Tier- Guillermo del Toro in it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, oh, I don't think he's going to actually be in the game, is he? No, I don't think Just so. for that trailer, he but showed they, up. But they did, yeah, because they would have said he's in the game. Mads Mikkelsen, who. Um, yeah. Apparently, he always needs to be having like weird shit coming out of his eyes in every appearance he has. Casino Royale, this. I guess we'll uh, see in Rogue One. (laughs) Yes, yeah, we will see. He's getting blown out. It's probably in his contract. (laughs) He's like, I gotta have something weird for my eyes. It's gotta be bleeding blood. I I mean, if you're gonna do like creepy dude, Mad Mickelson's like gotta be up top of your list. (laughs) Yeah, that guy is creepy. Hannibal. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, he is. He's he fits the game, uh, creepy game right now because it's a creepy game right now. We don't know anything about it. Just it's a fucking creepy game. So, yeah, we don't know what if. I mean, I'm sure Norman Reese is working with him on this. We know that now, and I'm sure Norman Guillermo is. del Toro. I'm, I'm sure oh, yeah. del Toro is working with him on this. But sure. you know, he tweeted funny. out himself, "Fuck Konami!" Like that was the stupidest thing ever to cancel Silent Hills. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and they're also using the. Uh, uh, Gorilla Games engine that they created for uh, Horizon for this game. Yeah, yeah, and the, the game looks the, the cut those cutscenes look fantastic. Like, holy shit, they looked amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't know what the game looks like though, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll see. But all right, uh, let's let's take a break and get into what we've been up to before we get into PSX. Uh, and then there was some other news we wanted to get into. What was the other thing we wanted to talk about? We put a pin in it and said we'll get back Ask to that. Guardian. Last Guardian. Yeah, so we'll, we'll talk Last Guardian. Let's get into what we've been up to first. Okay. Um, Mike, kick us off. Well, I played my placements for season three of Overwatch. Oh, nice. Um, I haven't done that yet. Shit. So they say that everyone's going to be lower this time if you're like under like low diamond or something. So I was. And yeah, I first of all, I had a lever in one of the games that would have put me at about 500. So I was Wins four don't matter, six. Mike. Wins don't matter. We were seven yeah, they, and three. They should matter. They no, matter we were, a little bit. Were we eight and two? We might have been eight and two, actually. We might have been eight and two. I think we were eight and two. So I got placed like 2005 or something. Ooh. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. So that's fun. Wow. You can work your way up now and have a better experience for it. <laughs> you mean that the, they haven't changed the way you get points, right? It's still the grueling thing where like you get a point and you lose two, right? Maybe I I played a couple after that and I lost a few at first and then I won one and got I did get a lot for the one I won. But um it might I take into account how long you've been playing, like a session also. I don't know. Well, you, you do get a streak or conse- a streak bonus, I think. Like, like Hearthstone gives you a streak bonus. See, that's the thing I disagree with because the thing is, if the system is working, by definition, you should be winning and losing around 50% of your matches. So if you play 100 matches, you're naturally going to get streaks. Like, you know, just kind of if you flip the coin 100 oh. times, you should have about 50 heads, 50 tails. The thing is, if you're rewarding those ran- random streaks of just like, oh, look, heads, 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 heads. You get like extra bonus points for that. Like that, it feels bad because the thing is, you're gonna have those streak, those winning streaks, and you're gonna have those losing streaks. Like, 
I don't know. I just don't agree with it. The way they they describe oh. it is that it's it's supposed to put you where you belong. It's like you're supposed to be where you belong. If they see you winning too much, then they assume you're not where you belong and try to get you to where you belong faster. Right. By giving you that. But strengths. but if so, and that's where I'm saying they should be using like a league system because if if that happens, like. You know, for instance, like they put me in silver by default usually after my placements, but then I play, and the thing is I stomp on other silvers, so they start pairing me against gold or platinums, and when I win, it's bigger like win points. Like I'll get like, like thirty five out of a hundred points for my next well, tier. They're putting you against, they're not putting you against those players until you well, reach that tier. That's what Tony's saying. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. If they're saying if you're like if you're stomping like if you're just if. Okay, you do your placements, and they're like, okay, we think you're a silver player. And you go into your first game, and you stomp, absolutely stomp on other silver players. They may be like, hmm, that's kind of weird. Let's put you in another game of silvers just to see if that was you know, an anomaly or not. No, you stop them again. It's like, all right, well, let's put you in a game against gold people and see how you do. And you still win against the gold? The system will be like, hmm, maybe they're not silver, and maybe they're above gold even. So they'll like do it. You know, diamond then, or a uh, diamond and or platinum, and then if you lose, then maybe like, all right, maybe it's be- between gold and platinum, something like that, rather than like reward like, oh, hey, look, you just got into these random ass streaks of luck because you know the yeah. enemy team had a disconnect or something stupid. I mean, yeah, it's, well, it's kind hard of the to, same yeah. principle, really. Yeah, I was gonna, <laughs> it's hard to say that they know when it's How? Uh, they, random they luck. They absolutely don't. Know. They do know. No, I they mean, take into account your your non competitive matches too. Somewhat, I guarantee not. you, they look at all your stats for for Overwatch. Yeah, I'm a, sure. Like they a, look at them all, but they don't. They're heavily weighted. Sure. I would imagine. <laughs> like placements, they need to know where you were before. And um, and they 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 say that the highest uh, weighted thing is where you ended last year, or or your highest rank last year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And when mine mine was at you know twenty five fifty something, and now I'm twenty even, so I don't know how true that is, hmm. but uh, I don't know. I guess I'll see how I can do. But that's all I've played. All right, Tony. Uh, Titanfall two. Yes, Titanfall um, two. I've played about two hours of that. Okay, yeah, I would say I finished the game just before the podcast night. Actually, um, really, really strong campaign. Actually, I was very pleasantly it's surprised. A lot of fun. Like I'm it is a lot of fun with it. But yeah, it, on. it's interesting because like the only thing I, is like I heard, you know, from like Gaff and like Twitter and uh, like one or two of my Facebook friends were saying like they got Titanfall 2 and playing the campaign. So I was like, you know what, like it's less than $30. Um, you know, I'm a big giant robot fan. I even I, I'm pretty sure I even said if Titanfall had come to PlayStation 4 originally, I would have probably gotten it. So, you know, I, I owned up to that promise. So and I decided the half price purchase was in my cards. Um, so, you know, I decided to play single player cause I don't know. I just can't juggle too many multiplayer different... shooters. Yeah. That's right. Cause I, I can't, I can't do what like Corey does and go from destiny to overwatch to, to whatever. I'm, I'm just not going to do that. Um, not to mention, I don't think you guys had any intentions of playing multiplayer. So, um, no, no reason for me to get into that, but the single player was really strong. It really starts out with just like your standard fare of like, oh, this is a Call of Duty type first person shooter, and they throw like the wall running at you, they throw the double jumping at you, they throw. But they work it in nicely in a tutorial no. with, with the game, so they do a nice job of. They abs- they they absolutely do, and it's it, it's interesting in the way that, in some ways, it kind of feels like um, a ver- a very Nintendo like game in that. They'll introduce you to concepts, and then they'll throw stuff in the levels that kind of like be like All right, require we have... you to use what you've just right. learned. Yeah, exactly. Keep, and like, keep oh. kind of reminding you of it throughout the level too. Like, oh, this is another running spot. Okay, wall run here. Well, you know, you have to exactly. Yeah, so they do like that. not only do you need to combine wall running, you need to combine you know double jumping now, yeah. or you need to you know like not be just able to use one... more speed and yeah, right, exactly. So. Um, really interesting mechanics, and I will say even like the level design is is really fantastic for a first person shooter, which I haven't felt in probably since your, the first Halo. Um, I and get that, that just, vibe. Really I mean, they have to consider you sliding, jumping, running, wall mm-hmm. running, double jump. Like, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I it's interesting. Had a level design feel like Halo, the original Halo. I, I got that vibe so far. Yeah, so because like not only that, it's like when they take certain elements away from you, then you're like, oh, I have to. Like, you know, I can't just run around my enemies and just, you know, clear the room. It's it's a tight, you know, shallow area. So I got to really play like a shooter or something like that. Yeah. And then same thing with your Titan. Like, you get into your Titan for the first time. You're like, yeah, I'm a fucking badass. 
you know, and you just like stomp through things and they're like, oh, well, we're going to take your Titan away for plot yep. reasons, or whatever, yep. like that. And you're like, oh, shit. And you have to like, you know, get it back and this and the other thing. But it's really cool. Um, they introduce really interesting mechanics just for a first person shooter that I would say is probably the most innovative that I've seen. And, you know, it's kind of limited, but um, since Portal, I would say. And you'll get to it uh, probably about halfway through the game, uh, Jim. You'll, you'll start to notice. You'll, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because you're just like, this is weird. And then you start to do it. You're like, okay, this is kind of cool. Um, so I won't spoil it. But when you get to it, I think you'll know and you'll probably post about it in Slack chat. But um, the story was nice. It was it was cool. kind of had like what I expected out of tropes and you know things to happen. They did leave it kind of open for a sequel. So hopefully it was successful enough that... EA gives Respawn another chance with Titanfall 3 and doesn't sandwich in between other yeah, get shooters. It. How about early in the year? Because there's nothing that's, early in the year shooter that's the thing. If and this was a summer release or even a Q1 of 2017 April, release, I think it would have been fine. Like March or yeah. April would have been fine too, I think. Last year. Like if, you, if you're going to delay it and push it to next year, make it February. So do February yeah. 2017 would make yeah. it. Yeah, Q1. No, I'm saying. Yeah. But um, it was sent to die, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, We'll see. You well, they're not going to have Battlefield for a while, so maybe. Yeah. So they get... say. Yeah. So they say. You're right. Uh, what else? Who would have thought Assassin's Creed would have died, but it's not coming yeah. back yet. <laughs> what else, Tony? Anything else? Um, that's it. No, well, you got Genji. your Genji skin, Tony. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I, was, uh, I was leaving that open for you. Oh, okay. Well, I waited we can, for we can you, lead bro. into Corey here, then. But go ahead. So you guys both got your Genji skins? Yeah, we mm-hmm. finished the 15 matches for that nexus challenge and it's so easy because you just do the computer and stuff and uh matches are 10 15 at the tops maybe but uh it was easy and it was, it was, it was fun I, I enjoyed what we played and i could see it being a good entry point for moba series and i, I know if you are a, a veteran maybe it feels kind of kiddish and um too simplistic you might want to like graduate to those um mm-hmm. league of legends dota style games but for me, it, it it worked out nicely, and it runs on the computer I have. To, so mm. it was good, and I'm glad we got that done so that way we could and get that skin because it's a limited time event. And sure, I, I want to have every Overwatch skin if I can. <laughs> yeah. So badass looking. Yeah, it's my favorite Genji skin. Mm-hmm. Cool. I, don't know, I mean, that's an, like the Oni Demon thing or whatever. It's pretty sweet. All right. Uh, I've also played Titanfall, too. Oh, nice. <laughs> have you finished it? Not yet. I'm getting my Titan back now, so yeah, nice. I, I do like like you're saying like how they introduce things, and it reminded me of those like 2D platformers where they they teach you how to do a move, and then they you they require you to do that move mm-hmm. in the next section, and to reinforce what you've just learned, yeah. and then they also have like you mentioned last time, Tony. I think they have like a horde mode in the freaking yeah. like, campaign, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> awesome too, and they do a really good job, and I, I think the the characters are pretty interesting as far as the um, enemies that you encounter and their personalities. I thought that was pretty good. Well done as far as it not just being a bro shooter, you know, because yeah. you get those a lot. Um, and you can get that fix from Call of Duty if you wanted to or Battlefield uh, if mm-hmm. you want. But this kind of does take a different take on it. And it, it really works as far as what they've thrown at you. And again, it's, you're doing stuff you're not doing in other shooters. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I will say, I think it's really impressive considering it's their like, first go at... Because, you know, Titanfall 1 didn't have a, a campaign mode, so... <laughs> my... These guys, though, had some no, of the no, best no. Call of Duty campaigns. Oh, no, no. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm just saying, like, you know, when you have to be this futuristic sci-fi thing, like, it could go wrong. It could yeah, go wrong. sure. Definitely. I mean, Infinite Warfare pulled it off, too. Sci-fi. Mm-hmm. I mean, they did. I mean, I finished that campaign. But, Corey, what else did you have? Um, uh, obviously the the mainstays as Destiny goes and the whatnot, but um, yeah, other than that, <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you waving your hand for, Jim? I thought you were getting Destiny. I what? I have Destiny. I have it. So why why are you waving your hand? Because okay. I don't play it right now. I have so many other ga- other games right now. So I finished <laughs> Infinite Warfare. Uh, I was homesick like most of the week last week with the flu. I was sick on the podcast, but I soldiered through it, and that was actually my worst night ever. Believe it or not, that was like my wor- I was like horrible. Um, but anyway, so I played Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and finished the campaign. Again, another shooter we're talking about with known for its multiplayer, but had a fucking great campaign. I really enjoyed it. The space combat in that game, it's a shit ton of fun. It's done so well. Like I really enjoyed those missions. Um, I felt like I mean, yeah, 
it's a bit predicted, uh, you know, the, the way that everything unfolds. Everything kind of, you know, I I don't know. If it, is it a spoiler to talk about stuff like on it? I don't know because I don't think you guys yeah. ever play it. Like it's just there's a lot of death. There's a lot of comrade death. Bro, there's, it's a bro down kind of thing with your <laughs> with your fellow soldiers, and it's like, oh no, here goes this guy. Oh no, here goes this guy. You know, it's, and it's like. The one guy even makes a point in the game where he's like, it's great to be on a mission with you, sir. I'm so happy. And he opens the door and he gets shot up. It's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it, it's yeah. that kind of stuff. But, I mean, it, it's, it's, it works. Like, it's just like one of those timing-wise, it works. Like, I just haven't had something like that myself in a while, so it worked for me. Uh, I mm. quite enjoyed the campaign. I immediately traded it in, so I didn't try a single bit of multiplayer for Call of Duty. And um, you're better off for it. And I am. <laughs> and I am. I'd rather just go back to Overwatch and we're going to play multiplayer. So the mm-hmm. same thing's going to happen with Titanfall. I'm going to finish Titanfall, which, by the way, is gorier than Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Titanfall 2 has more blood, more That's splatter weird. effects. Yeah. I noticed it more. As soon as I started playing Titanfall, I'm like, oh, shit, this is pretty violent. <laughs> like yeah. when you well, punch... because Call of Duty is being played by 12-year-olds, and they know yeah. this. When you, when you <laughs> punch know. somebody in Titanfall, it like it feels like a fucking punch. Like In that game, yeah. it's different. It's like it's... <laughs> yeah, not to mention, I, feel, I kind of feel bad for the enemies yeah. when I'm on my Titan. They're just like, oh, and I just go... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like squash like, him like a bug. There's no effect like fuck. that really in this game. It's just like headshots <laughs> and everything like that. You can knock helmets off, but the blood is not like terrible like that. I mean, Titanfall is more mm. gr- gruesome. So, yeah, but you know what's interesting about the Battlefield campaign is that you, there is nobody you follow. You're just playing a character until they die, and then you switch to a new character. Because <laughs> wow. it's all about the fact that this is a huge war that uh, you can't really be a survivor in. <laughs> well, one of the earlier... I forget it was... Modern Warfare 2. I, I played a couple of Call of Duty campaigns. And, like, one of them literally was like that, where it's like, you're playing as some dude, and they die, and you just switch to a new character. I'm like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not saying... Uh, Call of Duty may have done that as well in this one. It actually... It, it did. Uh, like, so... Yeah. Actually, one of the most jarring scenes, actually, I remember this, because, like, like the first mission is, like, you play as some guy who's infiltrating some terror cell unit, so you become, like, you know, a terrorist, and you go to the airport and you just shoot people up, and the whole yeah, time that, just like, yeah, uh, that, that was a big controversial scene. I remember, yeah. That. And mm-hmm. then you know, I don't think it's a spoiler because I don't even remember the, which one it was, but it's old anyway. Like the Probably end of that Modern Warfare Two, I would yeah. think. Yeah, and I mean the end of the level, like the fucking terrorist leader knew you were a spy anyway, so he fucking shoots and kills you. So you died a bad guy. It's like, oh well, yeah. I felt Sorry. like hand tied, but I felt like that in Red Dead. Press X to. Um... <laughs> I felt like that in Red Dead. Yeah, that's what. I like. Yeah, so like, there's like a whole meme on that. Right? Press X to like uh, kill the Pay terrorists. Respect. Yeah. All right, uh, let's talk about Last Guardian, which is finally launching after a decade of development. Um, and Final Fantasy 15. And Final Fantasy. This is a crazy. How do we week? get two games that were delayed for almost a decade in the same month? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I hear that Final Fantasy 15 pulled it off a little better. Yes, like it doesn't supposedly. seem quite as dated. I've I've heard a lot of Last Guardian references as being it's more of a PS2 game. That's mm-hmm. what I've heard. What's funny though is because like Final Fantasy is built off of this dated, like oh, yeah, it's I know. Dated, but I know. it's it's a genre that's just not widely as ex- ex- successful anymore. Like we used to play JRPGs nonstop. Yeah. Now, well, it's not it's, as used much anymore. So it, it's okay where it is. The genre is dated. That's yeah. why. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like that's why it's funny to hear you say like, "Oh, you know, this um, feels date. This one doesn't feel as dated as a game that's just doing plastic." And that's like, what I've heard. I, I mean, I haven't played Last Guardian or Final Fantasy yet. That's in the docket. Yeah. But and it's going to Last Guardian. Like I said in Slack, I felt like this was going to be a train wreck, and that it was going to be the same reception that which it. you reminded me on the title, The Order, 1860, 1886. 1886. Yeah, yeah, that game got destroyed. Uh, and but how I thought did this the same. Gonna, how does that have the same vibe as The Last Guardian, which has been in development for 10 years? Exactly. Like, <laughs> this game has been in development forever. Oh, sure. It's a game you that could, was built But you could more PS2. compare it to Duke Nukem than, than The Order. Sure. That got terrible reviews, too. Sure, but don't use The Order, I'm no. saying. Like, that, don't but tarnish, it's a, but don't tarnish the that, game that badly. I'm... They were both. So what? So comparing to Duke Nukem, well, he was, I, I think Corey's original thing was because I was saying like it was the Sony hype train that kind of like yeah couldn't be stopped seemingly this generation because it's like they couldn't do anything wrong. For, like all of a sudden, all these PlayStation owners were fucking uh, hardcore 
uh, so, action adventure RPG yeah. with Bloodborne. I was like, really? Like fucking Bloodborne? Like yeah. you're yeah, was, fucking yeah. up in arms about this? That's game? not a like, mainstream okay. game to begin with, and uh, and then you had No Man's Sky hype that obviously didn't pan out. Uh, and then The Last Guardian has a big following because people have been waiting for it forever. But, but I, I haven't it. been, but but that's what I'm saying is like I'm surprised that you were so high on this game considering what it's. I expected the eight or nines. I'm not saying I expect the game to be as good to eight or nine, but I expected eight or nines. Not, yeah, I not, expected. Well, that's different. That's different. Separates. I thought when you were no, saying that. No, no, that's. I, I expected the game to get text. a. I expected the game to get kind of like a pass for a lot of its technical flaws, just because it's a one of those quote unquote artsy Art games, games. Yes. where it's like, oh, this elevates the the medium beyond the genre, just being uh, a video game. It's 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 art, you know, stuff like that. It's like, <laughs> yeah. like okay, man, like don't get me wrong. I'm not saying video games aren't art, but like, don't fucking fillet a game when it's bad just because its artistic properties are better than most like that just does not excuse it i agree um so i I personally was expecting the eight to nine range you know and i think even like uh mike you had mentioned that in some podcast uh, maybe like a year ago or so when we were talking about like oh lost guardians revive look we got a trailer last year you know (laughs) this and the other thing um but just like what i've seen of it it just seems so bland and i guess too redundant because like i mean i got I got ice, Ico or ISO or however you pronounce Ico, it. Ico, Ico, Ico. yeah. I got Ico. that on PlayStation Two originally because again it was one of those games that was just highly yeah, rated. Came out on right? PlayStation yeah. Two, well, yeah. right? But I, I would say I don't think most people played on PlayStation Two compared to uh, the PS3 Me Master. Yeah, and Shadows but, of Loss is the same way, right? Isn't, wasn't that a PS2 game or was that? Yeah, it was, yes. and a there was no yes. Team Eco game on PS3 because yeah they skipped the entire generation well, the they longest were generation this. they were, we're playing this. that game yeah yeah we're playing right. that game now. but i i played ico for a bit i didn't beat it. i was just like this you know kind of like how we're saying like i want this girl to come with me and i want her to do these th- certain things because we need to fucking survive and it's like bitch you need to listen to me well i hear <laughs> come that's, on, that's know, a gripe in this game. right and so like that was one thing but then shadow claw says i personally like shadow a little bit bit more because it was more zelda ish um and the horse, I like the horse. It listened to you almost all the Most time. Part, I think. Yeah, I mean, they didn't have um, as, and it didn't require you to as much as the girl. It required right, you. To right, exactly. But then I'm hearing in this one, it's even worse than the first one. Where it's like the fucking animal won't listen to you for the the first majority of the game until you like grow a bond. I'm just like, like my my free time is value more valuable now than when I was a teenager. You know, playing video games. So like, if I'm spending 10, 15 minutes on a puzzle. Even though I know what to do and know how I have to get this animal to do it, but you know it just fucking won't for reasons. Like well, fuck that. I think I think it's telling. I have no interest in- like, listen, this is no shot at Greg Miller because I think he's awesome, but when he likes he likes everything and he hate he doesn't like this game. He's not going back mm-hmm. to it. He's done with it. No, I think he also hated Suicide Squad. Uh, he might, have. <laughs> but I mean, he he like defended the Batman versus Superman. Of course, his Superboy. I, that's, I'm just saying, like. As a reference, he's not going back to this game. So it's got me a little questionable if I want to keep it. I might just swap it for another game, but I don't even know. Now, I had, I had an all-morning of debate of what to buy of this buy-two, get-one free. All-morning. And I wouldn't have figured it out unless Corey had said I wanted Final Fantasy XV as well. So <laughs> it's the only way it worked out for me. Um, but anyways. So, yeah, I mean, we all talked about how this game looked like crap before it came out. Yeah. So I, yeah, it's It just... was never enticing. I mean, I have it because I got it for uh, essentially $13. But... But there are people out there that are giving it these high scores. I mean, it's got an o- over eight Metacritic score. Mm-hmm. So it is a g- geary, uh, no, it's still, yeah, it's not good. Scores. Yeah, it's got that whole sort of air, though. Like Tony said, of you know, if you if you don't like it, you don't get it, man. Mm-hmm, so the pretentious, <laughs> like I'm too like too good for you and like yeah if you don't understand this yeah like, get the fuck out. I, i'm typing this review out while i drink my pbr from a bottle like, fuck <laughs> you man yep <laughs> i fucking hope you choke on that shit <laughs> and wearing a scarf yeah, but again and what's funny is i liked the order i thought that was a fine game and it was a perfect length i mean it was like five hours it was a good yeah. uh good experience and i thought the cinematic stuff was great but you know it was not for everyone so and this game right. seems to be but also for other but, right, but also the order wasn't like in development for ten years. No, right, that's and why that's I said you can't use it. As I keep example. saying like when you have a game, and I thought Final Fantasy 15 was going to be a turn wreck. When you have a game in development for that long, 
there, yes, it's normally bad. Yes, yeah. it's not good. It's not a good sign. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't mean the longer it's in the oven is better. Like it, it yeah. overcooked itself. But it's interesting because <laughs> on the on the other side of the coin, Final Fantasy 15, from what I've seen, has been yeah. rave reviews. Yeah. And uh, it's to, funny because yeah, back to back to form, and it's it's actually gotten me more in, interested in possibly getting it this week because of the Best Buy sale. Because previously I was just going to skip on it until it got to like the $30 mark or something like that. But now I'm just like, uh, maybe I should just get this. That way, if nobody gets it for me for Christmas, I have it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Got that. Yeah, and I I was not interested in this game at all either. And then the Kingsglaive movie actually piqued my interest a lot and made me much more interested. In and I and I have heard such good things that um, I'm excited for it now compared to, you know, earlier I would have said, you know, a year ago, I would have been more excited for Last Guardian. Yeah, yeah I think you guys were because, like, I remember when they showed. I think the PS. I was disappointed trailer. with the demo. I was yeah, excited. Yeah. You guys yeah. were like, uh, we were like, no, but I, no, I think even from it was the beginning, E3. though, E three. There's the first E three footage. Yeah, you're like, Corey and I were like, like it looks terrible. <laughs> and, and the same thing, though, but we did. The Last Guardian looked bad too. We did say that. I mean, yeah. there's yeah. never yeah. once yeah. that looked good. But like uh, back then, yeah, I definitely yeah. would have said I would have play, rather played the Last Guardian yeah, than this. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. Right. I just got to remind you guys. I'm, that's all. All right. Let's move into PSX, which occurred this weekend. Uh, can, the Capcom tournament occurred. The Street Fighter Five, right? Capcom Cup. Yeah. Capcom Cup. For how much money was that for? Was like it for millions? Hundred thousand. Oh no. Millions. That was the uh, the Call of Duty tournament occurred this weekend too. Like the, uh, the four million the, dollar one. That's not no. That's that's next year. The, oh. the inv- it was like invitational thing that you could view the best teams play it and get a glimpse of what's to come okay well let's All see psx <laughs> kicked off with some really great reveals i think um it was like the high point of it the weekend i didn't hear anything else after this so it, you know what's funny though is he even said like when they were revealing it the was panels like, were really good he said the panels were going to be great i didn't hear anything though from that like i didn't i haven't looked at it all like I haven't oh. seen it, I guess, but I, usually it's more like everywhere. I can read about it. Like if I go on Twitter, like, they, I see posts. pull a bunch of stuff. Like a lot of the Last of Us information came from the panel. Okay. So we have, Spoiler. by the way, <laughs> so we'll just kick it off with that one anyways then. So Last of Us 2, part two, was announced at PSX 2016. Um, a great reveal. I didn't hear anything about this before. We, we whispers, we expected it, but we didn't hear anything about this really. So mm-hmm. to, to launch it with a trailer and it's going to focus on... Ellie and Joel. But you play as Ellie. That's the big yes. kicker. Yes. That's, this, this game is... The first game was about love. This game, this is, game about... is about hate. Yep. So That came from the panel. Yes. Right. And uh, it looks like it from the trailer. She's got bloody knuckles. She's killed a bunch of people in the house. Or something happened. Uh, and, um, yeah, you just see Joel at the end there. So we, Joel's going to be... He's like, uh, what are you doing? Yeah. So are you really going to go through with this? And she goes, yeah, well, I'm going to kill, kill, kill them. every last one of them. So she Who looks pretty that? angry. And who is them? Fireflies? Well, they kind of symbolize it in the with the stop sign. Yeah. Looks well, like, like it's going to take care. Well, that's Not what necessarily. we don't know. That's the mystery. So you, you have to wonder, what does she know now? And is so, it the Fireflies or was it not the Fireflies? We don't know. I think, I think no. the biggest thing to discuss about this right now is Mike didn't want another story about them, right? Yeah, the, well, the way it ended, like I kind, it kind of feels like, oh, I don't really want to know what happens next. And I'm still not sure if I do. And th- there was a lot of discussion when that game ended. And like, if there's a sequel, like, will it be other characters? Will it be way in the future? But no, this looks like a pretty direct sequel. Of just a few years later. Yeah. Like maybe, maybe two years. I don't know. She's in the panel. Older. Last of Us Two. They said she's about 19. It's so like three years, four years. Uh, five years. Uh, I guess that's five, five years. Yeah, five four years. to five. Uh, so, they also said that this scene was filmed, like, they, they did the voice for it, like, a year and a half ago. Hmm. So they've been working on this for a while. Yeah, I think it was one of those worst-kept secrets in the industry, because it's like, We've heard maybe we'll do yeah. another Last yeah. of Us. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's one of the best-selling games on the PlayStation Store. I'm pretty sure Sony wants a Last of Us 2. Yeah. So, I mean, we got, we'll get more uh, next year at E3, I'm sure. Um they haven't announced any sort of time frame of a release, but they have been working on it for a while. Nope. So we'll know more. They, 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 it's interesting. From the panel, like the panel is really interesting. I definitely recommend watching I it. I watch that. Yeah, no, I'll check it out. Mention like they brought in both the voice actors, Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson, very early on. And so they felt like it was a very much a, uh, they were a part of this story and they're building it. And 
Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing that's interesting is Bruce Straley is not a part of this game. Yes. Who mm-hmm. directed, director, yeah. co-directed the game, the first oh, game. Right. But they right. did bring back the original music artist. He's coming back. Mm-hmm. Yes. And they did get, I think, the writer from Westworld or something like that? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. No matter what they do, they'll get a 10 from everyone. But that's what we just talked <laughs> about. We were expecting that with Last Guardian, the, 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 the Grace score. But we didn't get that. So maybe not. Well, you got it a bit, though. I mean, that game should be a seven. I think you right. got it. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, it's at least a two. I mean, IGN two. gave it a seven. For them, that's low. Not anymore. They're, I told oh, they you they've been it? a little. Okay. No, 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 not that. I mean, they're lately they've been harder on everything. Okay. All right. Um, we also had – this was a good kept secret. Not the first thing, but the Uncharted Lost Legacy reveal. So we got a Uncharted Four post story about. But we story. reported it's on this. Assumed. No, but we thought it was a Sam. Yeah. Drake yeah. Everybody Sam. assumed it was going to be Sam and Sully or something. Yeah. 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 So this is going to be a side story with um, Chloe. Yes, Chloe and Nadine. Nadine. Yes, thank you. I couldn't remember the other woman's name. I'm like, who was it? <laughs> Chloe and Nadine. Who's in three and Chloe's in two. Yeah. yeah, but who wants to play as Nadine now? You know, she's like. We know oh. that she's a stupid piece of shit. So, yeah. Yeah. But this is post. This is post the Uncharted Four story, though. So it'll be taking place afterwards. I know, but still, like, I don't want to be her. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it looks interesting. I'm gonna check it out. I like the Uncharted series. So. People like Chloe, so yeah. I I, I'm, I was excited for it. It seemed like the gameplay footage they showed yeah. was pretty. Yeah. Cool. Well, I don't really remember how they ended uh, Chloe's story, like when she left or, or what happened. I don't remember. And Uncharted 2. That's because yeah. it wasn't very important. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. the greatest story ever. Naughty Dog. It was Can't... good. That was a good story. Yeah, I don't remember it, but it, I'm sure it was like, good. <laughs> it's fun, like the explosions and, yeah. and all that. I think, like, you know, you find out she was double crossing you, then double double crossing, and then it's like, okay, we forgive you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See ya, Chloe. All right. Um, and I mean, then... It's interesting, though. Yeah, yeah. So the start and end of the show, basically, Naughty Dog. Yes. And in the beginning of the show, now we'll go back to the beginning, we had MVC4 revealed, which we talked about last week as possibly being announced. Uh, mm-hmm. We did not get any character confirmations except for four. Um, <sighs> we got Morgan. We've got Captain America, right? Oh, we've got Iron mm-hmm. Man. I'm sorry, Iron Man. we got six. Oh, we've got six. I'm sorry. Morgan, Captain America, Iron Man, Mega Man. Uh, Ryu. What's X. That? X. Mega Man Ryu. X. Um, Ryu. Ryu and Captain Marvel. And Captain Marvel. Cap- so we got those six announced for this. The biggest thing I found we got announced from this game is the fact that there's no assists. Yeah, it's... So the big changes are it's back to a 2v2 system instead of a 3v3 system like Marvel's, Marvel's Capcom 2 and 3. Mm-hmm. Um, and they are utilizing the Infinity Stones again, uh, kind of like Marvel Super Heroes did, where you have it, that you could use it as an item in game and like enhance your character's abilities and stuff like that so it's it's well, saying on the infinity war it is a giant advertisement this whole game <laughs> hopefully but. they put x-men in it they did respond saying that uh you know they 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 have much they have a very good appreciation for the classic characters so <laughs> and one guy said yeah he said he can't imagine a game without yeah a wolverine. without wolverine so yeah go <laughs> All right, we'll see. We'll get like the X twenty three Wolverine. I mean, I think it's interesting because they're they're going with the name Infinite instead of you know the natural assumption of Mar- Mar- Marvel vs. Capcom four. Um, where I think it might be one of those things that I want to say might be supported for a while through like DLC stuff. That's what it sounds like. Um, Capcom. I just think they want to tie into the, in- <laughs> the Infinity War stuff because again, the whole game is a big advertisement. I mean, any of the crossover stuff is a big advertisement. Yeah, I mean, everybody gets to experience the other is characters that a bad thing? a genre they don't play. That's, like, I is mean, that a bad thing? That I no, mean, no, like, you know, it's you're not. talking in Slack chat about, like, Mortal Kombat, but, like, Mortal Kombat had fucking, like, horror movie characters in it. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, Predator. Like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. I kind of like so, Predator. Yeah, I mean, like no, 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 but I mean, like, who gives, like, like, okay, it's there, but, like, is anybody like, oh, this... This compromises the integrity of this game. It's just blah. Yeah, like, lots blah. of people were actually pissed off. Lots of Mortal Kombat fans who didn't get their characters in that game, and they got those characters instead were, were pissed off. Now, I don't care about this marginal Mortal Kombat characters that much, so I actually kind of like those incorporated characters. But yeah, there were lots of people pissed off about that, really. Okay, well, yeah. good. They can be fucking pissed off then. <laughs> 
Okay. All right. But I'm just saying, like, that's that's totally like, that's <sighs> totally not even really. That's like if Marvel's Capcom had like a non Marvel non Capcom character in it. So. It's like. But I mean, what, yeah, what's the Smash is, Brothers getting Sonic? Who cares? I think the, the thing that we want to try to gain get from this is is it bad that they're gonna try to leach off the success of the cinematic universe? Because I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's a bad thing. I think it is that's all we're getting, and we're not getting like more of what makes people identify with this franchise. Possibly, but you know, like the Guardians trailer, it's just a tease. We don't know yeah, yet. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. This is all teasers, so. Um, we also got Parappa the Rapper. Re- we got a lot of remasters. Uh, it's really go quickly going back to it though. Are you okay with the art style? Because I'm not. Oh yeah, okay I'm okay with it. Why Marvel versus Capcom? Mm. Yes, I, I don't. I would have rather I mean, go more cartoony or back to yeah. back to an alpha style. Yeah, I will say that I didn't. I didn't like the actual debut trailer where it was just uh, Ryu, Mega Man X, Captain Marvel, and Cinematic. Iron Man. Like the cinematic, I was just like, as the first reveal, I was like, that's kind of. It looks really. I don't know, kind of generic, like something I would expect out of like a, well, SF5, a mobile game. I think yeah. SF5 had that look, though. SF5 look, if, has that generic look, doesn't it? But right, but, 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 if yeah. you go, I found watch, it does. watch the like trailer cinematic for um, Marvel's Capcom Three. That is amazing. Like that's something that builds hype. Like where it shows like you know Ryu on a rooftop and like he kind of like gets out of that fighting that days yeah. and yep. and then you know he starts fighting um, Wolverine and pains to you know all these other characters fighting like that's how you hype something up like this like this is just kind of like like I personally love Mega Man X and I think Capcom fans do and obviously I have, to have uh, Ryu because he's like the center fighting game character and you expect Iron Man but like Captain Marvel like I hate the push on Captain Marvel by fucking Marvel like. I just they don't need, like they the character. Need, they more, need to combat Wonder Woman. It does. Now. It does there. more worry me no, about not. the X Men not showing up in the game by them premiering their movie franchises in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, like, was that's... Iron Man was Iron Man really that big of a character? Much in this in that in competitions for Marvel? I don't think it was. I don't think. I was. feel like he was the poor man's Cable. So uh, I mean, he saw play, but I mean, Cable was saying. just better. That, that's, um, that's why I'm worried. I am worried still about these X Men not showing up. Because but he has been in there from the beginning as one of the characters. So. Sure, but usage-wise, don't you want to premiere it with somebody that you know people love? Actually, Iron Man wasn't even the first Marvel's Capcom. He was uh, was War Machine, or was it? No, no, no. no I could Machine, be wrong. No, he wasn't in the second. Oh no, he was in both. Yeah. They're both in that. They were in Marvel I'm versus Capcom. Sure, he too. was in the first one. I, I know yeah. that my uh, my no, go-to I'm wrong team, my go-to team just for the hell of in Marvel versus Capcom two was Wolverine, Spider Man, and Iron Man because those were like the new Avengers at the time. <laughs> So I did them a lot, um, even though that they really weren't that good of a team. Spider Man was not that good, <laughs> but yeah, no. Spider Man has time in those games. What's funny is like the Dreamcast version of that game was super valuable forever, and I yeah. think I got like thirty five dollars for it like ten years ago. Yeah, <laughs> still, I still like, have. Yeah. That. <laughs> I do have nice. that downstairs right now. Yeah, it's it's yeah one of the more valuable games. So, uh, but yeah, I. I I'm just disappointed in the art style, personally. Mm-hmm. I would have liked to have seen it different. It, it looks really rough. Hopefully, it's a later 2017 yeah. game and they could polish it. I think it will be. Because I'm, I mean, like I'll say, like, I was really skeptical of Street Fighter 4 when they first unveiled it. I, like, I remember the, the Ryu mm-hmm. Ken thing and, like, the goofy faces? Like, I was like, this looks like shit. But by release, it looked a, a lot better. And I actually enjoyed that art style even more than I, I'd say Street Fighter 5. But, you know, hopefully, it can get better. I wish, I did wish they went with a more, I don't know. Marvel's Capcom 3 look, I guess, where it was like pseudo comic shaded mm-hmm. or whatever, the outline and stuff. I would I have know. liked to see what I would have liked to see is like 2D sprite looking the characters, but in a 3D world, kind of like what Guilty Gear has oh, done. Oh, dude, that would that have been fucking. That's what amazing. I was hoping for. And yeah. like, that's the thing is like that style lends itself to comic book characters, but yeah, you know. oh, exactly. <laughs> So anyway, it's I didn't get what I wanted there, but I'm still excited. <laughs> Just like Guardians, <laughs> mm-hmm. gotta bring that up. Yeah. And well, I mean, Groot is supposedly going to be a character in this, but is it going to be oh. Baby Groot? Or is it if it's be Baby Groot, Groot, I'm done. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Prop of the Rapper Two got a, we have a remaster coming in for that. Local uh, Rocco, Patapon, <laughs> all coming. Wipe out. Gotta believe, Mike. Wipe out remaster. You want to wipe out HD? Do we do we need another version of Wipeout? No, we're not I getting another version. 
Yeah, we're getting the old versions. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's another version. It's not a sequel. It's it's just another version of the original game. We've never gotten a sequel. Have we ever gotten a sequel to that game? Did they make it too? Yeah, they made other. Yeah, what? It's about? always made... remasters of the original. I thought. No, they oh, made they made a the version on PS3. Oh. I got for free. Oh, did yeah. they? Wipeout XL, didn't they? Or is that a skiing game? I don't know. No. Man. It's got Wipeout. It's not a skiing yeah. game. Yeah. So I don't know, but. Wipeout remaster, the Crash remaster. I think you're getting trilogy. three of them in this remaster. You are, you, know? you are getting a trilogy of them. So, but I thought they were all like the same game, just remastered, remastered, remastered. I mean, it's cool and all. I just still wish they would bring back PS One classics to PS Four. Like, like Crash? <sighs> no, fuck Crash. <laughs> I don't care about Crash. But like, I have title like Castlevania games and stuff that. Yeah. Well, I mean, Symphony Konami, of the Night. You know, yeah. Two D games. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, they would be cool to bring back some older um, games. Well, you Capcom, get... Capcom has said they're going to re- revive some older franchises. They did come out mm-hmm. and say that this week, so maybe we get a little Power Stone? Yeah. Power Stone would be cool. Yeah. Um, Dino Crisis might come oh, back yeah, just because building off that popularity yeah. of Jurassic World that I think yeah. you know really brought back interest in dinosaurs. But... Um, maybe another Devil May Cry, finally, because it's that last one fucking killed the series for a bit, it seemed like. Yeah, it did. Right, Jim? Oh, right, Jim. It did. Right, Jim. I own right, it. Jim. I still haven't, I still haven't right, played Jim. it yet. Is that the Nero one, or is that... Cool no, it's the one with the... No, that's emo. the... It's the emo that's one. That's the... Fuck you! Oh, the... The, the, oh, kid, the little one. kid one. The edge lord. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, look at me. I'm so edgy. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, guys. How much did you guys love Knack? Enough Wait, to what? want another one. So they're giving us the sequel we didn't want. How well, do they... we didn't want, but Mark, other Mark people Cerny, might Mark Cerny want. The baby has group loving kids might want so far into Sony right now that he can get a sequel made of a game that did poorly, like yeah. really poorly. Yeah, because they're probably like, "Hey, man, we really want you to design the next PlayStation system." And he's like, "All right, but I want another Nack." Oh, I want Nack too. Like, Ugh, all right, fine. Here's a blank check. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, that's gonna lose the money. It's for the kids, man. With the kids. What's funny is I don't think you guys commented. I think but that was last... your argument, Jim. For <laughs> creepy grin. But it's last week, kids. Um, Mark Stanley had tweeted that he got like a bunch of PlayStation stuff um, before the oh, PS6 yeah. event, <laughs> and like it actually First like somebody time. took a pic, like a pic, a screenshot of his um, PlayStation account, and it goes. Mark Stanley has played Knack for the first time, like as a, like a notification, and everybody's like. Really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, wow. Yeah, so I don't know. That that sequel is coming out. We'll get more information on that. We got Destiny Winter Event detailed, Corey? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Sparrow Racing League is back. Uh, Still supporting the game. Up. Impressive, but I don't know. How much more? I don't know. It's nice because you keep playing it, but I'd like to get some Destiny 2 news. They're going to do uh, scoring. They're going to do strike scoring now, so like, there's going to be competitive aspects of strikes. I think it's not asking for much to ask for Destiny 2. Like, I kind of would like to see a sequel to this game now. It's coming. I'm ready for it. We already know that. I'm ready for it, so. Um, my, my Gran Turismo Sport game got revealed. Like, not revealed. There's a trailer that we've kind of seen already. Going to support 4K native somehow. Uh, they didn't, I don't think they said native, actually, now I'm thinking about it. I doubt that makes actual 4K resolution. HDR... Uh, and um, a VR select, a VR mode for select tracks and cars. Mm-hmm. So not full VR support from a first-party Sony game. VR forever. It this is. This is, killing is my future. VR. VR this is, this is Did my you notice how theory. they didn't really talk about VR at all? I know. This. I said they weren't going to. This was my fear about the Vita. Thing. They had more Vita on there than VR, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, Cap. I mean, Resident Evil Seven full VR support. That's cool. That was awesome. I mean, I don't want to play that game, but I'm going to have to buy it. I'm going to have to buy it. (laughs) I have to to buy this game to justify my purchase. Jump scares all over. Yeah. And then what what, what comes after Resident Evil? You have a jump scare machine, Jim. Don't you realize that? I don't know what comes after Resident Evil. (laughs) I don't know. The jump scare factor. Battlefront stuff come out. Uh, Star Wars isn't this week. It's tomorrow, I think. I think it's the 6th. It is tomorrow. Yeah. So... I'll be interesting. I'll be playing that, but I got to finish up Titanfall first, and we got to finish Gears. Jesus, no, I was ready to play all weekend. Yeah, wait, no, you weren't. You weren't ready to play on Saturday when I was ready to play. Well, you, I, I said I could play tonight. Think? That was that, like, wait, you no. Wait, 
Saturday, I, I, I was like, but I, I could have played right now. I could have played Sunday all day until you texted. You, me. you never texted me. I told you I couldn't play until tonight. Uh, the, I know. The Sunday night. You asked Sunday night. I was like, I'm gonna have my sister in law over for dinner. Afterwards, I can play. We could have played at 8:30. Like, but we could have played like noon. You. We could play at one o'clock. What? I didn't think you were available. But all right, we're we're playing tomorrow. God damn it, play tomorrow. <laughs> Do can it you, live. Can you play tomorrow? I'm Probably. playing. We're setting this up right now. I'm playing. We're playing. We're finishing gears for tomorrow night. The second, whatever. I'm good at seven thirty. Gotta finish on. it off. Yes. It's, it's, it's taking too long. Yes. Okay. Get rid of it. Like, we gotta get it off the list. It's not that it's bad. It's that we have too many games to fucking play. Yeah, so. I, I want to find out what happens. I'm curious. So. Uh, yeah. Anything good. else from anything yeah. else from PSX guys? Just moving back to that. As far as um. The reveals go, yeah. I, I, it was sure. it was a lot weaker than last year, I thought. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, right. the, the the Last of Us two really. I mean, it's great. <laughs> the, the games that they revealed, I'm very happy for. But you know, I would have liked to have. I would have liked, like I said, I would have liked to have more VR news. Mm-hmm. You just sure. launched this thing. Give me some hype. Give me something. Nothing. Nothing. And they even said, we'll be talking about it a lot this weekend. Did anybody else hear anything else on VR this whole weekend? Well, I wasn't paying attention to VR. I was, much. and I heard nothing. I, went up really I watched well. a bunch of the panel. Like, the Guerrilla Games panel is really good. Definitely watched the panels, but they I mean, it's talking I'll, about I'll games. Wanna, I'm going to check out that Last of Us panel, without a doubt. Yeah. So, all right. I think that's going to wrap up episode 321 for the Gamescast side. Uh Listeners, let us know what you think of uh, the PSX event, what you thought of it. Um, write us podcast at allyoucangeek.net. Follow us on Twitter at allyoucangeek. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on YouTube. You can see us. Chat. Whatever. Um, follow us on Twitter at allyoucangeek. I don't know where else I left off. I'll read us on iTunes. And uh, tune in next week. We have probably some probably some news we missed this week because there's so much to talk about. We missed some other stuff. So we'll probably bring some other news back into uh, and maybe dive a little deeper into Last Guardian if I can get to it. Probably not, but we'll see. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for viewing. Peace.